This is a six-minute introduction to the audio-described version of the Dance Dorsty Highlights film, a partnership between Step Change Studios, Metro Blind Sport, and supported by Vision Foundation. Dance Dorsty is an initiative that provides in-person and online dance sessions for people of South Asian heritage with sight loss and other disabilities. The film is eight minutes long. Please note that audio description will be sparse throughout the film itself, and much of that visual information has been included in this more extended introduction. Rashmi Becker, founder of Step Change Studios, presents the film. Rashmi is a British Asian with long, straight, dark brown hair. She wears a black shirt with the Dance Dorsty logo, a seven-leafed lotus symbol in gold with red highlights in the middle. Underneath the seven overlapping leaves are the words, Dance Dorsty. We first meet Rashmi standing in front of the plain white background of a dance studio, and later leaning on a handrail in front of a brick wall outdoors. A montage of dance classes with different groups shows as she speaks. In a spacious bright hall with shiny wood flooring, lines of visually impaired dancers cross their arms to the left above their heads, the participants swing their hips, bop and clap in front of them and behind, and lean with one hand on their hips, the other outstretched. Another group of wheelchair users dance with dandia sticks, two short sticks made of wood and covered in a bright satin cloth, which they clack together. As Rashmi discusses the first phase, online video and audio dance sessions, we're taken to the large white dance studio. Empty but for two chairs, a camera, a light, and a tripod. In time-lapse, a camera woman films various instructors presenting dance workouts. Text on screen reads, Sessions available in English, Bengali, Gujarati, and Hindi. Four instructors demonstrate, all in black, dance dorsty tops, speaking those languages. These four instructors are Bhagya, a South Asian woman with black, shoulder-length hair, Aprajita, Indian with brown eyes and smooth dark brown hair, cut shoulder length. Druvil, a South Asian male with short black hair. And Shomi, a South Asian woman with black hair. She's interviewed later in the film. We meet some of the participants. Amrit is a South Asian woman with black hair in a bun, wearing glasses, a blue dress with gold trim, and dangling gold earrings. Amrit is blind. Sam is a South Asian woman with a bright smile. Rehearsing a sequence throughout the film, she wears a sparkling silver headscarf and a black dress with silver trim. Sam is blind. Live classes run in different venues, and participants sit on chairs in an airy space with high wooden ceilings and bright banners on the walls. In another space, the teacher stands in front of a seven-foot mirror running across the entire wall of a dance studio. The doors and curtains of another studio are bright red, orange, and yellow, with tinsel running along the top of a wall mirror. We meet dance teacher Gita, who's South Asian with long black hair. She wears a black dress with purple trim. Volunteer Poonam is South Asian with long black hair worn in a ponytail and a black hoodie with the sleeves rolled up. Later, as she assists with the instruction of individual participants, sometimes joining in the dancers, she'll be in a baby blue dress with gold trim. Participant Esme is a blind South Asian woman with dark brown shoulder-length hair. She wears a long-sleeved grey top. Her interview is intercut with shots of teachers correcting and instructing students. Georgia leads another class. She is white British, with mid-length wavy blonde hair and a nose stud. She dances energetically through the space, wearing a Dance Dorsty t-shirt and loose, free-flowing maroon dhoti pants. One of her participants is Kashmira, a South Asian with long black hair. A wheelchair user, Kashmira wears a silver shirt and leopard skin tights. During this sequence, she lifts her arms to full extension, clapping joyfully. Fatima is South Asian and wears a headscarf as she speaks to the camera, while images of a group of students hold hands in a circle and crowd in. They perform routines on a large black stage, bare but for a sitar player, cross-legged on a rug, wearing sunglasses as he plays. 
Against the back wall, coloured lights play across a white curtain, blue, purple, and yellow, acting as a backdrop for dancers in full dress. Red tops with gold skirts and sashes, black tops and pants with a red or gold sash, or vibrant blue and violet dresses. One of the participants, Mariam, addresses the audience. She's South Asian, wearing a black shirt and trousers, with a gold sash, her brown hair tied up. Rashmi. Hi, I'm Rashmi from Step Change Studios, and we've partnered with Metro Blind Sport and Vision Foundation to present Dance Dorsti. Dance Dorsti is an initiative aimed at people of South Asian heritage with sight loss. The idea for the initiative came about during the pandemic because it was very clear that people from certain backgrounds and disabled people were disproportionately affected. There were less opportunities to be active and it was much more important to look after our health and well-being. And that's where the idea from Dance Dorsti came about. Often there's stigma in certain cultures, with certain backgrounds, in who should dance, why they should dance, what type of body you should have, even sometimes what type of skin color suits what type of dance. But dance is for everyone. It makes you feel great. It keeps you fit, it allows you to be creative, it can give you confidence, and it helps you connect with other people. And this is what we're trying to share through Dance Dorsti. The first phase of Dance Dorsti involves creating over 100 video and audio dance workouts. Recording classes in a film studio. DanceDorsti.com is a digital platform that provides seated and standing dance opportunities in English, Bengali, Gujarati, and Hindi. Bhagya. Har step ko hum bahut alag alag tarike se kar sakte. Aprajita. Step out with the right leg and take your right arm up. Drewville. Jamna page and then char count daba page. Show me. Shamne piche, shamne piche. Rashmi. The second phase of dance dosti is about improving better practice within the dance, sport and physical activity sector. We've undertaken research to understand what people's preconceptions might be and what their needs might be when it comes to delivering inclusive sport and physical activity. Amrit. Um, I've always felt excluded from dance classes because they're not tailored to teach uh, visually impaired people and there isn't the volunteer support on hand to help do the moves. Sam. I think we miss out so much. The world doesn't realise that we miss out so, so much on something that's just such a fun thing. Like, we're focusing so much on everyday living that's hard. We forget to stop and have fun as a community or blind individuals. And I think something like this that's catered for someone like me just makes me feel so much more included and actually just have fun, you know. I uh, really, really enjoyed it. Rush me. Our final phase of Dance Dosti is seeing us deliver five pilots in different areas of London with higher South Asian populations. In-person classes. These areas are Harrow, Brent, Ealing, Newham and Tower Hamlets. We've been working with people of different ages and abilities to engage them with dance and we've also been working with fantastic community volunteers. Gita. Gosh, so volunteers are big help. We've got Bunam here, she's a fantastic help. So if I'm teaching someone, she's always there making sure the other participants aren't being left out and that's really important. Poonam. And I had sort of Saturday afternoons free and I thought it's only an hour or two. Um, so yeah, I feel much more connected to the community, got to meet some lovely new people, um, managed to lose a little bit of dignity trying to keep up with the dance moves. But um, yeah, I had some amazing dancers who were like keeping me on track. So yeah, it's been, it's been a great experience. Volunteering has definitely given me a number of benefits. Just being more compassionate um, and understanding not everyone's got the same abilities and that doesn't matter. We can all do the same thing. Esme. Because you get this thing when you're blind or when you have a disability that people might not expect so much of you so they'll just move on regardless but that's not the case like the teacher is so informative and she makes sure we're doing it right and, and that's important because you, the last thing you want is the feeling of you being patronised you want to be treated like a proper student and that's what we get what I got anyway <laughs> show me when we first started they were very reluctant to get up they weren't confident getting up on their feet but as weeks have gone by I've seen how confident they've become and to be able to follow some of the instructions to be able to enjoy the movement without really having to feel vulnerable. Georgia. In my first session everyone was a little bit like shy and then as the weeks have got on they've got more energetic I've seen people get on their feet 
Um, they've become more confident getting on their feet. And some people that weren't joining in originally, they were a bit shyer, are now joining in. I just wanted to say that I've loved it. It's a highlight of my week. Kashmir. As wheelchair people, you know, when they go anywhere, people think, oh, they are in the wheelchair. What are they going to do? They sit down one side. Nobody asks them what they want. But with these dances, some people, they got the, like a joint pain. When they done the exercise, it's very good for them. Fatima. Not, not everybody has uh, the ability or the confidence or the skills to express vocally. So by dance, it's like a freedom of movement. So they express their feelings and happiness through dance and movement. Rashmi. A highlight of the Dance Dorsey programme has been to create a showcase for the Dance Dorsey participants. It's always wonderful to set goals for our dancers and the showcase gives them an opportunity to show off what they've learned. Two dancers in the space, Rashmi presents. For most of them, it's their first ever time dancing in front of an audience and many are completely new to dance. Aprajita. This performance will be a massive confidence booster. It gives you a certain amount of confidence in yourself and it makes you feel like you've done something, you've achieved something good. Esme. To be honest with you, this is like the first time I've ever done anything like it. I'm a bedroom dancer. <laughs> so it's, it's been amazing. Like, I didn't be, know that it's going to be this audible. When I thought about dance class, I thought, how? But it's very, very good. A group dance. Mariam's at the microphone. I suffer from a bit of depression, so when I move, whether I'm listening to music or just dancing, uh, just having a rave, I enjoy myself, and that's what it's all about. The dancers raise arms and bow. Amrit. I'm totally blind and there is nothing more distressing is not the actual physical act of you know not being able to see it's not being able to live the life that you want to live and to truly be the person that you are and when I got the email for the dance Dorsey, I had to look over it three times to believe that such a class existed and I was obviously a little bit cautious about how it was going to be if there's going to be compromises made but that just hasn't been the case at all it's been so inclusive and it's the best thing that I've done and I want to thank everybody for giving me this lifelong dream. Rashmi. Dance Dorsey has been a massively rewarding programme and it's made a really positive impact. Moving forward, I would like to see more providers and organisations in the sport and physical activity sector and in dance embrace inclusive practice and welcome more diverse audiences and participants into their spaces. There's a lot to do, but I'm really encouraged by the progress and it's clear that there is an appetite to be more proactive and I hope we can build on what we've achieved through Dance Dorsey by working with partners across the different sectors. StepChangeStudios.com, Twitter handle at step underscore change and on Instagram at StepChangeStudios, all one word. MetroBlindSport.org, Twitter at MetroVI Sports, Facebook and Instagram at MetroBlindSport. VisionFoundation.org.uk, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram at Vision underscore FDN. Audio description by Michael Skellen for Vocalize.